Well, good morning, David Kuhn here with the CBS AM debrief uh, this Thursday, the 25th of August, uh, just on 8 a.m. here in the Sydney office. And overnight market action, probably the big uh, headline was uh, the price of gold coming off around uh, 5% or $104. Um, now, this is largely on the back of uh, the uh, Chicago Mercantile Exchange increasing the initial margin requirement there by uh, some 27%. And much the same thing happened in May with uh, the silver contract when the initial margin there was uh, was, put, was uh, pushed up uh, as it was heading towards $50. Now that saw a 30% decline in uh, in that metal at that time. Um, so we, we uh, certainly don't expect to see that uh, here with gold, but we have been talking about um, in the last uh, little while, I know uh, Jono in other sessions here on the AM debrief, and also in the um, CBS uh, Borden and the uh, Barrett's Borden. Uh, in fact, only uh, yesterday, uh, Jono was talking about the uh, uh, the parabolic uh, rise in uh, gold prices and uh, that we were heading for a bubble there. So uh, would have been, uh, uh, if you're considering a long position, uh, well worthwhile having a, a look at that. If you want to have a look at the uh, the, uh, the bulletin there, you can register for that for free. It's uh, barrettsbulletin.com, uh, or you can get in touch with us and uh, we'll head you in the right direction there. Um, so in other news, the Dow uh, up 143 points. Uh, that's about 1.29%, so a pretty good move there. And we are looking here potentially at our first week in some five weeks uh, of, of a gain. So uh, it's... Uh, it's been that long uh, that we've actually put any uh, any upside in the in the markets there. Um, I'll go and have a look here at the actual uh, numbers here on the various markets. So um, we'll just move up here to okay, there we go. Uh, the um, S and P 500 up a little bit more, 1.31. Nasdaq up 0.88. Uh, the rest of America is uh, fairly flat. Uh, Europe putting in quite a good show here, uh, with um, the DAX up uh, most of all, 2.64 by the looks of things. And in our region, we, we ended up closing uh, down here locally. It was a little bit of a, a uh, sort of a choppy ride there, up, up and down, um, but ended up uh, with that uh, close lower. This morning, though, we're looking for a 43-point rise in the SPY. Hang Seng down 437 and Nikkei up 80. For our commodities, uh, we're seeing that spread between Brent and West Texas. Again, this uh, is a spread trade that's talked about in the uh, CBS board and the Barrett's board. Uh, that's up uh, 77 to 110 and uh, the West Texas down 28. So we're seeing perhaps a little bit of this effect uh, from the uh, Gaddafi regime um, seemingly still uh, haunting the, uh, the people of Libya there and causing uncertainty in the price of crude there. Our natural gas at $3.92, um, really refusing to go anywhere. The, uh, the gas uh, warrant there or contract and subsequently the warrant uh, is sadly losing value every day and uh, we, um, yes, we uh, We'll have to see if uh, we get any uh, sort of storms or weather events there that are going to lift us uh, back out of those losses there and into a profit. Um, as for the rest of the uh, commodity space, the really only green numbers that I can see here are canola, coffee, uh, lumber up quite solidly here. Now that may be on the back of some of these uh, numbers over here, uh, house prices and, uh, and whatnot, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, soybean earlier, oil up. 0.21, and then for big decliners, uh, looks like sugar was, uh, was probably one of the big ones down 2.08. Uh, copper up just a, a tad, uh, 0.2 of a cent to four dollars and one cent 65, and there's that move uh, down from gold 1757 and 30 cents, down 104 there, and then silver 39.74, down 2.59 or most of all 6.12% as uh, typically happens with, uh, with silver. Our currency looks like we had um, a bit of US dollar strength coming, albeit uh, just a smidgen, uh, with the euro buying uh, a little bit less, 
1.4412, the pound buying 1.6362, US dollar buying 76.9720 yen, the Aussie buying 104.70, and the CAD buying 0.9878, and the Swiss franc buying 0.97. So seven nine six one. To our economic calendar for this Thursday, the twenty fifth. So this is some of the things that drove the U.S. markets higher. Was this uh, quite impressive U.S. durable goods orders for July? Four uh, percent was the number that came in there. Two percent was the expectation, and the previous was negative one point nine. Uh, durables excluding transportation, point uh, seven. And US House Purchase Index came in at point, a negative point, uh, 0.6. And then in, uh, other numbers for today, we've got house prices due out, We're expecting a uh, slightly better number there than uh, prior. Uh, UK house prices coming out, New Zealand retail sales, Swiss uh, ZEW survey, and then going through to tomorrow, we have um, GDP numbers, which of course is always going to be a big one to watch out for. Expecting a 2.3 there, um, but a, a bigger number than that could really uh, start to bring the bulls out in a significant fashion. And then we've got the University of Michigan confidence numbers for August. And of course, we've got Bernanke uh, talking uh, at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And uh, that will confirm whether or not uh, some stimulus is going to come into play, the uh, so-called QE3. Okay, let's take a quick look now uh, at the Falcon Trader. Uh, now, I was just looking here before, I've got a bit of a double top here on Kingsgate. Um, any further slide in, in, in price, uh, uh, gold, sorry, uh, could see this as a, as, as a reason that it would short. Uh, back down to the mid uh, mid eights around the, this sort of level here as a reason a reasonably realistic uh, downside target to to my eye. Uh, looking now to Medusa. A similar story here. We did just break a little bit higher there um, back on Tuesday. Um, but now, yes, we look like that's a, it's quite a reversal looking there. And again, wouldn't have thought it'd be too unrealistic to see what it says getting back down to $7 without too much trouble. And uh, just looking through here for anything else, uh, Luca, I know something I tend to talk about a fair bit and uh, quite liking that here. We've got this reversal pattern here in place and uh, we thought $17 is pretty realistic in the short term. Remember in this market we uh, we want to be taking profits uh, when and where we can get them and uh, not be uh, staying exposed to too much for too long. And on that note um, I'll leave it, uh, leave it uh, to everyone to, uh, to have a good day and uh, thanks for your attention. Until next time, bye bye.